All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So I've had a few guys reach out to me and ask if I could give an update in regards to my one stick that you see right here. This guy is the Shikar mini stick that I have added modifications to. I've added the Schaefer cam cleat. I've added a full berry rope mod. I've put on also a three-step aider from out on a limb. And then I added the double aider step, which is right here. And you can see that. And then, of course, this night eyes gear tie, which I put on and I twisted the fire out of just so it stays up nice and tight like that. And also, when I put this full berry rope mod on, see if that will focus on there. You can see that when I built the rope mod, I made the loop here at the end just big enough to slide over top of the Versa button, which was up here. But I just put it in the back. And so that's been holding that rope mod nicely. And so what I want to do is I'll go over very quickly the pros and why I decided to do this. And then I'll give you my overall update after climbing somewhere around probably 70 to 80 times this season so far, not including the times that I have practiced out of this one stick. So when I was leaning towards getting into one sticking about a year ago, I knew one thing and that was I was not going to hunt off of a platform that attached to the top of my stick. And so at that point in time, I had to start just narrowing down which stick I was going to use and the benefits. And so I looked for two things, a lightweight stick and also a packable stick. And so that's why I landed with the Shakar Mini. This Shakar Mini with everything you see here, the three-step aider, it comes in at like 1.8 something, 1.9 pounds. And so I'm super happy with that weight. That weight coupled with my Predator platform, which is three pounds, and then all my ropes and my Mad Rock, which is two pounds, I'm still sub seven pounds for my one sticking setup. That's up the tree, that's sitting, that's hanging. And that also gives me the real estate that is provided with the Predator platform. When I climb a tree, I'll set this off to, to one side and I'll put my, my Predator right here. And so as I want to maneuver around the tree, I can just step off either direction and use the top of the step also as um, leverage to maneuver around the tree. And so I really like that sub seven pounds. You can't go wrong with that with all the real estate, again, of the Predator. And so the other thing that I like about this is the packability. And I'm not going to pull everything down. I'll put a couple pictures up and show you the packability. And I have a dropout bag right here below me. But when I collapse this stick, you can see how small the profile is. And I can walk in if I choose, or I can just put, put the stick, which would be collapsed, onto any part of my bag or in my bag. And so also, I went to Kansas this year, and I collapsed this step down. And it literally slid right inside of my, my bow case, right next to my bow. Now the picture, I don't have it wrapped, but before I actually put it on the plane, I wrapped this in a shirt. And so packability is second to none. I really like it. Another reason I went with the Shakar Mini was price point. Everything you see here cost me about $179, not including shipping. I would say if you're going to order off of Out on the Limb, make sure you get everything you need at once. Uh, I forgot one thing. I think it was the step and the shipping costs more than the step did. So if you're going to order from them, make sure you just get it all together. And that way you only have to pay shipping once. But uh, $179. Now I did do my own full berry rope mod. So those are around $25 if you go with the eighth inch or $30 if you go with three sixteenths. And so you can just say $205 and you get this stick. I thought that was pretty reasonable. So let me give you a few tips and tricks that I have learned with this stick right here. The first is when you go to tighten the step and the standoff down into the fixed position, use the knob up front to go as tight as you can, but keep your standoff at about a quarter of a turn from being completely horizontal. And then when you tighten it as tight as you can from the knob, turn it around, hold that knob and use the leverage of your standoff to go ahead and tighten this bolt down even further. What I found when I first got this stick was because of the tolerances built into it so that it could go over the post, there was a little bit of step wobble. And by doing that, it completely eliminates the step wobble. The second thing is, is you'll see here that I essentially put my gear tie right up through the holes that are built into the standoff. 
and I brought it up from the bottom and at first I tightened it and I only put about six or seven twists into it and I thought that was good but my gear tie would would bend very very easily and it wasn't really rigid and it would also come untwisted and so one day I'm like you know what forget this I just started cranking the gear tie and I have probably 20 plus twist into this gear tie right now and I kind of found it by mistake but that thing you can see how rigid it has made this gear tie and so I, I, I realized after I did that that man I should have probably done that at the beginning but again I just didn't even realize so if you haven't make sure you go ahead and twist that gear tie down I mean I still can put twist in it it just makes it more rigid and uh, I like it better like this than what I had it at the beginning of the season that's for sure now when you go to put this onto the tree this is kind of uh, standard with with all sticks but I like to keep my rope mod and my shaper cam cleat you know as horizontal as I can get it right there and then once you set your stick or you put it onto the tree you want to set it so you grab the bottom bottom step pull out give it a good old crank down now there are times where you get funky bark and you're unable to really seat that standoff into the bark like you should so here's what I found there are times I did this in Kansas it had some funky bark I don't even know what it was but I couldn't I couldn't seat that stick so I would put my foot into the bottom step of the aider I would pull out and I would kind of put some weight in it as I was pulling out like that and that would help kind of finalize that seat into the bark and so if you haven't done that maybe give that a try if you run into some funky bark another trick when I would seat the stick onto the tree and I'd go to climb up the aider one thing I started doing was I would pull out the bottom of the aider and I would place that at the back of the arch of my foot just in front of my heel and then I would start to climb the one thing it did was it provided consistent support but the other thing it did is as I would climb each step I'm getting closer to my standoffs now the standoffs here on the shikar are four inches and when I started with this at the back of my arch or the front of my heel, by the time I got to the top step, it would be at the front of my arch, right, right behind the ball of my foot. And so I'd have good stability the entire climb. And so if you haven't done that, give that a try. And that might, might make climbing a three-step aider a little bit more comfortable for you. All right, so let me speak real quickly in regards to how well this has handled long-term use or use for this season. There were two concerns that I had with this setup and both of them were in regards to the aider uh, one this aider attaches to the bottom step via this sewn-in loop it, it essentially goes right over top of this ear and uh, hangs on to the bottom so when I first got this in the back of my mind I'm thinking okay so I'm you know in transport or something how easily will this aider come off the bottom step and as of to date I have not had any issues with that and as of today, it's not even an issue in my mind. And so that was one concern that's no longer a concern. The other concern I had was how well this is going to stand up to use. Because like Eastern Woods Outdoors, Backwoods Mobile Gear, they both make great aiders. They use a one-inch webbing strap. This is either a half-inch or five-eighths. I forget what it was. But uh, I was just kind of concerned about the long-term use. And as of now, I'll try to get this to focus on this uh, this bottom step. Let me manipulate the, the focus real quick. There we go. As you can see, there are some fuzzies here. Yeah, focused again on the wrong thing. There we go. As you can see, there are some fuzzies on it. But the overall wear, this one doesn't have as many fuzzies on it. But uh, the overall wear, I'm actually pretty pleased with. So... I don't have any more concerns in regards to the aider as I did when I first started. The only thing I have to do or I had to do to the stick was these bolts and nuts after using them for 30 hunts or so, they developed a little squeak. And so I put some scent free grease on there. And right now they're as quiet as a church mouse. So the purpose of this video was to answer the question, how do I feel about the Shakar Mini Mod after an entire year of hunting with it? Again probably 70 to 80 climbs conservatively and I pointed out it's lightweight I pointed out it's packable if you want to pack it down and I pointed out that everything 
is holding up really nicely. And again, I'm pretty impressed with this three-step aider and how well it's held up um, from my initial impressions. And so I'm really pleased with this stick. Even my uh, am still here. There's a little fray here or there, but everything is holding up very nicely. And so again, this will be in my arsenal for a long time. Uh, I'm not sure if you have any other questions, but if you do, as always, just drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Thanks for watching and good luck to you.